this old guy DIY video has to do with swapping the trigger on a Savage Axis from a model that does not have the Accu trigger to a model that does have an Accu trigger. If you have a gun that did not have the Accu trigger on it and you'd like to replace that with an Accu trigger, just pull out the magazine. In my case, I took out the bolt. Then I'm going to remove these two screws and we'll get to the barrel receiver with the trigger attached to it. Now I have the barrel receiver here with the old trigger on it. This is the Accu trigger next to it. And all I need to do now is take out this pin and that pin, and then the trigger assembly will be away from the receiver. When removing the pins, I just grab here with one hand and kind of compress my thumb. There's a spring under here. And when I compress this with my left hand, I can just take the fingernail on my forefinger with my right hand and get under the head of that pin. So when I squeeze this, get under the head of that first pin, move back a little bit, squeeze again, get under the head of the second pin with your fingernail and then just pull it out of there. And when I'm going to install the new trigger assembly, I put this shorter pin in first. It serves well as a locator. And then it's easy to manipulate this assembly. So the black metal hole lines up with the aluminum hole and you can stick that longer pin through. It only takes about five minutes if you're not filming. I remove the pins. That's what the back of the receiver looks like. This is what the trigger assembly looks like. The shorter pin went through that front hole. The longer pin went through there. And since it's under spring pressure, when you put it back together, you just have to manipulate it a little bit with your finger to line those holes up when you slide the pin back in. I installed the two pins here, and this thing now has an AccuTrigger. And that's all there is to it. If you take your time and go slow, you'll see it's a simple, easy process. Thank you for watching.